Teaching is not something you can do untrained. And so the fact that we're partnering as an educator preparation program with the Danielson Group, it just helps all of us, the teacher educators, those folks in the field that we work with, and then certainly our pre-service teachers. The work that the Danielson Group does, it's streamlined and it's not an addition on top of what a busy teacher's schedule or a coach or administrator's schedule is already doing. I do a lot of research just around what's sort of like new and exciting and innovative around education and kind of going backwards and building off of the great work that's already out there. Here with Berea College, we had a lot of conversations on sort of the needs, the wants, things that they've been seeing in the field of education that they wanted to make sure that were amplified and also that we would be able to talk about here. And I think today I have already learned a lot about how to better myself as an educator at the same time that I help my students better themselves as well and kind of work together with them to create a good learning environment for both of us to grow in. One thing that I've learned so far while being here at the training has been that there has been so many different ways and paths to take as an educator and there is no right or wrong answer whenever you are a teacher when you're teaching your students but the main focus and goal should always be the students and how they can be better citizens and people for the world. So today the thing that I, I've picked up the most uh, is this idea of intentionality. I'm, I'm picking up that a lot of other really good teachers value that um, and I think it's kind of increased, uh, increased the amount of value I put in uh, to, to being more intentional um, across the board at all times. I came today to learn a bit more about my profession and learn a bit more about how I can apply what I'm learning today, about how the framework and how we should be teaching, and more about the cyclical process of teaching, so planning, preparation, and student engagement. We don't necessarily naturally get together with these stakeholders and constituents and colleagues, and so when we do, you know, a lot of um, positive things emanate from it. Depending on the district or the school that you're working in, a lot of times it's similar issues around, you know, teachers need skills around trauma-sensitive practices or SEL or social-emotional learning. So I usually design my workshops with that in mind of what are the things that most teachers aren't always equipped with through either traditional training or in their schools, and I design a lot of my work based off of that. Within five minutes, there was so much energy at my table because of the teacher educators uh, at Berea College, you know, processing things like, oh, I didn't know this, oh my gosh, how did we do that? And I immediately knew the investment and cost was worth it. In terms of implementation, they really need to start working with um, their colleagues, their peers to kind of turnkey some of the work because I feel that if you say it out loud, you'll do it talking about making sure students make connections they need to make, um, that I need to plan correctly for the context and for the standards and just use them very specifically to keep um, goals in check. It's all about their emotional, their physical, their mental. There's so much to a person, especially to children, and being able to empower every aspect of those things in their life, in their mind, and feelings. I know the Danielson framework is very holistic, and that's one thing that I've always believed, that there is more to a student than just their brain and the things that they can uh, manage to learn in a classroom. I'm definitely going to look at the framework more in detail when, and go back to my own plans, maybe grade myself, and see how I do and see what I need to change.